What's up everyone? I am in Oklahoma City. I left y'all in the last video talking about um, getting uh, the batteries replaced on the truck. And uh, got here this afternoon and uh, I guess they couldn't fit me in. And I'm at the TA. The shop is just just a little bit, just a couple blocks out. Well, not even a couple blocks. Just walk down that way and you're there. Uh, the TRC shop here. I'm off uh, the TA at Council Road here. And uh, in this video, I kind of want to talk about uh, how trucking has changed in my relatively short absence. Really, three years, but maybe even been longer than that because it's like there for a couple of couple years I was local uh, and I haven't really gone out like this too much and let me tell you it has changed and it's changed a lot but what are those I don't know what are those. Anyway, yeah, it's a different world out here. Let me tell you. Um, we'll say this: if you speak English and you are a minority in trucking, I know that's not news to any of you guys or anything like that. But it's just gotten worse and worse and worse over the years, and uh, to where it's just like. I don't even know. But anyway, let's uh, let's go. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not going to film inside the store. But I, I need to get something to eat. I hadn't had anything really today, and uh, I'm go like I maybe I need to starve. <laughs> some of you guys have been saying, "Hey, you need to lose some weight. You looking fat? What do you mean looking fat? I am fat. What are you talking about?" Uh, but I'm gonna give me something small to eat. And, Get back in the truck and watch TikTok videos. <laughs> morning 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 did i ever tell y'all how much i'm not 
a morning guy. Yeah, it's morning time now. We're at the uh, TRC shop getting the trailer and the truck stuff done. Of course, when you come up in here, this guy doesn't show up to work like the rest of the guys. Good morning. I've got a camera on me. It's not on you yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're going to set up shop here. Put, uh, put my laptop down and do internet stuff while everything's getting worked on. Did you know that a shower at the TA costs sixteen dollars? <laughs> Took a shower last night and needed to shave and all that. I, I didn't want to do it this morning. I probably wouldn't have been in the mood for a sixteen dollar shower. There was a pilot here. I, I know there is one down, one exit down, but I just didn't feel like going down there to the pilot or the flying J or anything. Good morning. Yeah. Wait, wait, hey, man, I had the thing down there. There's that guy. He's like, uh, fake smile this morning. It's kind of like me. It's like, I'm not a morning guy, but I stuck a camera in my face anyway, just because. All right, I'm gonna go and drink this Dr. Pepper and get in a good mood. Please don't. Lights, camera, action. Please don't put this on the news. Wait, wait for me to at least get my office set up. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need everybody he was... to know that my, 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 my office is technically in the break room right now until the other one is finished construction. So, here's I mean, the deal. under construction, so I mean... I was here at seven o'clock two hours ago. What time did you show up? Uh, banker's hours. Listen. Manager's hours. Once a truck driver, always a truck driver. This is true. And you got you got to wake up early and be here before the I mechanics. Was in, I was in the gym at four o'clock this morning, shipmate. Oh yeah? D no, no, don't call me shipmate. Shipmate. I, I I'm on a different kind of ship. Let's let's look at what they did in here. Uh. I don't know if they have a light. Did they have a light? Don't tell me you gotta walk on the, all the way on the other side of the room just to turn on the light. There it goes. So, here's, I guess this is gonna be his office. Now, can't you tell, like, you know, you put some, put some bars in here and it makes you look like you're in a jail cell. Uh, but I guess he's gonna fix this up. Fix this up and have his uh his his office <laughs> uh anyway yeah we're still in the shop here um uh that that's a uh, little guy uh the trucker whatever <laughs> i guess he used to do youtube videos back in the day yes yeah, so i don't know never heard of him so i came here so um <clears throat> i'm working on the trailer right now um the other day I found something on the pre-trip. I thought it was going to be something small. It turned out to be something a little bit more. So, But after we get the trailer, we'll uh, get the batteries done. So, Hey, in here. This guy, can I take you home with me? Come here. Come here. Come here. It's a camera. Here, let me put it down for you at your level. Let me put it down for you at your level. All right, come here. Come sniff the camera. Come sniff the camera. Come on. Hey. Come on, come sniff the camera. Yeah, I'm big, yeah. I'm a big guy, but when I'm sitting down in the chair, you come right up to me. Yeah, come say hi to the camera. Scared of the camera. Come on, come on. Yeah, <laughs> poor thing, poor thing, yeah. Yeah, you sweet little girl, you are. You sweet girl, 
Yes, sweet girl, if you are. Yeah. You want to say hi to the camera? Say hi to the folks over here? So scared of the camera. We're scared of the camera. We're scared of it. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's not going to get you. It's not going to get you. Come on. No. Come on. Okay. All right. All right. A little scared of the camera. A little intimidated. Yeah. They try to get you down. No. No. Don't want to. All right. <laughs> she seems interested. But I put it down to her level. She's like, no, no I'll, I'll, I'll think for Let's do it again. Let's try this again. Come on. Come here. Give it a good sniff. Give it a good sniff. You gotta sniff it. Look. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Come here. All right. I love dogs. I do. Well, we finally got out of the, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've been, I can't do this. Here we go. I put the hat on. I don't know why I've been bald for like ever and everybody knows. I don't know what I'm hiding. I'm hiding nothing. Hiding my Q-tip head. So, um, we, sp we spent all day in the shop. Uh, long longer than I'd like, um, but is what it is. Uh, I think we were basically waiting on batteries. We got the trailer fixed. I, I noticed some things on a pre-trip and uh, it was riding rough and I told them about it. And uh, they got that fixed pretty pretty fast. But the main thing is waiting on batteries. The easiest thing to fix. But uh, we're there waiting on someone to, to bring them. So. But, uh, but we got that done. Uh, the, the batteries were bad. I mean... I'm surprised they didn't just blow up. This is an old truck, folks. This is a 2013. Um, it's got just under 400,000 miles on it, and uh, which is low, right? But it's still an old truck, but it's been worked. So I think it was a local truck or something like that. I, I don't know. Hey, don't, don't be talking on the radio while I'm recording. But anyways, I'm about to uh, get uh, go inside and get me a soda water. I, I am in a fuel island, but so, you know, but it's a little, little small little place right here. It's a little small place. There's no one else here. And uh, just a, what they call a fuel stop. It's not a truck stop. It's a fuel stop. Well, actually, they do have a little bit of tr truck parking. But anyway, um, but we got it fixed. And uh, so when I come back out, because I'm going to take like uh, a week off. Uh, and I told you guys I am. Don't, don't be don't get, getting all twisted sitting there thinking, oh, Ike's going to try to get 3,000 miles a week. Uh, no. No. I mean, maybe 3,000 miles, maybe tops, do that, but then I wear, wear myself out and I'll just take it on back to the house. You know, um, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the like, because we're paid percentage, it's like work smarter, not harder. Don't get paid by the mile, get paid by the load. So that's just the way it is. But yeah, I'm gonna take a week off, but I'm gonna post the truck on a DAT board um, probably Monday. And so Wednesday, try to uh, see where we're gonna go. I'd like to stretch my legs a little bit, but maybe not. I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet. Uh, that's why we play it by ear. Um, I kinda like to, I won't mind going like up to the Midwest, maybe uh, Illinois or Iowa or Indiana or Ohio or something like that and maybe bring a load back home or, or maybe do something shorter but do like three loads or something or maybe go out to Chattanooga uh, and get by the office and do some work and stuff there you know uh, but they're at the TRC freight office in Chattanooga that's right I hadn't been there in a while I hadn't been there in a couple of months so um, we'll get out there and do that um, but yeah, hopefully you guys, you know, took in the shop, little building there for a little bit, but uh, truck is fixed and um, I have a lot more confidence in it now. Um, now I don't know about wheel seals, hub seals, um, 
You know, I don't know if those are next to fix. Um, it will let me know. <laughs> it, it definitely will let me know if, if they need to be fixed. But anyway, I'm gonna go inside and get myself a soda water. And uh, but I'm not getting a cheeseburger. I'm not doing that. Um, I'm just gonna go inside and give me something to drink, wet my whistle, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get on here to the house and um, spend a week. We've got a, a, ha a ham fest this weekend, and uh, looking forward to that. Got a club meeting on Tuesday. That's the reason why Wednesdays I'm going. Wednesday I'm going out, or I would have left out on on Tuesday or something, um, or Monday. Um, but you know, so but after after uh, this after this uh, this week, I don't have any commitments really until next month, as far as club stuff goes. But uh, my wife called me, and she was like, "Do you uh, do you miss being home? And uh, yeah, how do you really like being out there in the truck? I can already tell she's ready for me to be back home." Um, and, and I haven't been gone that long, but it's just like, you know, I've been home every day for the last three years. Well, I've been with my wife every day. I haven't been home every day, but I've been with my wife every day pretty much for the last three years. So, you know, she didn't marry a truck driver. Understand that. So, but that's the beauty of this deal that I have with TRC Freight is that um, I don't have to be gone. You know what I mean? I don't have to be gone. So, and we're not going to neglect, neglect or neglect uh, the wife. You can't, you never neglect the wife. Never, ever, ever, ever. That's the reason why I've been married for 25 years. Okay? All right? I'm just sitting there saying. But, uh, anyway, I noticed uh, we have a team that signed on. I met them at Mid America uh, this past year. Like, I, that's one way to do it. My wife ran, ran out here with me uh, for about a month a few years ago. It was, it was really, really fun. But, all right, so next video, next vlog I do, because uh, I got a couple of videos I recorded, but I never posted them. I'm not sure if I'm going to post them. But the next vlog I'll do, I'll do more backing stuff. You guys love that. Uh, the way I did the 360, I'm like, hey, you know, people like that. I mean, uh, I'll uh, do some more videos on that for sure. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, hey, that's trucking, right? Going to the shop and, you know, or go, and, but it, it's not always a shop. It's like maybe you go into a market where you can't find a load. Or maybe, uh, maybe you get, you know, to a shipper and it takes them a day to load you. Or a receiver it takes them a day and it's like, man this sucks have to cancel loads and all that kind of stuff that happens in trucking and that's what i was trying to tell um uh, uh josh owner trc freight man i apologize and all that it's like you don't have to apologize that's trucking that is legit trucking you know what i mean um yeah i mean be disappointed for a little while while you're sitting here waiting but 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 that's that's it you know uh, you know, it's just like you get over it. They, I, again, one thing I've learned over years of trucking, but not just trucking, but years of adulting, patience, patience. And instead of getting mad at a situation, laugh at the situation. You know what I mean? Just laugh it off and shrug your shoulders, say, oh, well. It's like, I always wondered why, like when I was young, I would be all hot-headed and all that kind of stuff and and be like uh but you see the old guys nothing you can do <laughs> now i'm seeing i was like wow how how are you guys like that you old guys all patient like that ain't right ain't right doggone and uh now i'm starting to get that way i'm not old yet don't let the gray hairs fool you okay so i'm i'm still a young man i'm a still a young whippersnapper most of you guys are older than me, so I'm just sitting there saying I'm a young whippersnapper. I'm not going to tell you my I'm not going to tell you my age, 46. So I'm not going to tell you. See, I'm young. So anyway, I, I'm having fun out here, guys. And uh, again, I don't know where my next load is going to take me, but when it does, 
I'm gonna take you with me and uh, I'm liking the beard but it's getting really hot out here and it's like maybe I'm a little premature on my beard and I'm gonna have to you know I got good beard oil that I use but it's just like okay I'm talking too much I, I gotta go I gotta, I'm gonna go give me a soda water holler at you guys later 73